adding email accounts in Incredimail. This tutorial will show you how to configure an account in Incredimail to check email. Click the Tools menu. Select Accounts. Click the Add button. Click the Next button. Enter your name. Enter your email address. Click the Next button. Click the Skip button. Select either POP3 or IMAP. Servers are often configured to support both the Post Office Protocol version 3 or POP3 and the Internet Message Access Protocol or IMAP. POP3 accounts will download all of the email that is in the inbox for the account on the server to the local machine and the client will read the local copy when displaying a message. Typically, the messages are deleted from the server when they're finished downloading to the client. IMAP accounts will download just the headers when checking email and then download the individual messages as they are read. IMAP accounts will generally also delete the copy on the server when the local copy is deleted. Enter the incoming mail server name. This is typically mail.domain.tld. Enter the outgoing mail server name. Typically, this is the same as the incoming mail server name. Click the Next button. Enter your username. Typically, this is the same as your email address. Incredimail auto-populates this field based on what was entered in the email address field earlier. We will edit it, though, to make sure it is entered correctly. Enter the password. Click the Finish button. Click the OK button. The account has been created, but there are still a few settings that need to be changed before we're done. Click the Properties button. Click the Servers tab. Click the My Server Requires Authentication checkbox. Click the Advanced tab. The default port for the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, is port 25. Many Internet service providers block this port at their network firewall. This is done as a security measure to prevent viruses like email worms and spam zombies from sending email from infected machines connecting to their network. 
For this reason, our server is running a second copy of the SMTP service that is listening for connections on port 26 as well, and we will be changing our outgoing port to use this one in order to connect to our server. Enter the new port number. Checking this checkbox will tell Incredimail not to request that the server delete its copy of the messages once they're downloaded. This is useful when it is necessary to check the email from clients configured on multiple systems. However, it is recommended that messages on the server be removed manually through webmail periodically if this is enabled to avoid reaching the mailbox quota for the account on the server. Click the OK button. Click the close button. Congratulations! You now know how to configure an account in Incredimail to check email.